what I want to share with you is not good, but it's for your preparation of your life. First Thessalonians chapter 4, uh, verse 13. We'll read from 13 to 18. You need to understand why death. We do not want you to be uninformed. To be uninformed is to be ignorant. It is possible that we can be ignored. ignored. There are effects of ignorance. It is possible that when we ignore the issue of why death, we will end up having incorrect decision. When you begin to understand death, that there is going to be death, the fear of death will go away. And the preparation of the death will come. Matthew 26, 47. Matthew 26, verse 47. The moment when I began to understand the, the, the ministry of death, I found that the ministry of death is life it's eternal life. How can you reach a level whereby your enemy becomes a friend? How can you reach a level whereby those who have come to kill you, you can approach them? It's when the fear of death is gone. It's when you understand that many things we are doing we normally do all but avoid death. And this makes us not to be complete in the Lord. This makes us to have some reservations. And it brought fear when something starts to happen which is wrong, like temptations. We think about the worst. When someone starts to be sick, we begin to think about hospital. But we forget that though there is hospital, but there will be death. Philippians 1. Verse 21 to 23. Philippians 1. From verse 21 to 23. 21 to 23. Have you, you are no longer fearing death. You are pressed. You can see that going away. It's more than staying here. You know, the reasons why we are still having some challenges today is because we are fighting to be here. And Satan brings a lot of fear. And our hopes becomes blurry. We cannot see where we are going. When you are not having fear of death, you walk by the program of the Holy Spirit. It's only the Holy Spirit that will suggest for you. You are not supposed to die without seeing what he has promised. You are not supposed to die in pain. Not seeing the fulfillment of God. You must live your life here into the fullness. And die fulfilled. 
Have you ever found someone say, now I'm praying to die? It's because he saw the hand of God. I want God to bless you. The moment when you reach a level, where God program you, people will be feeling pity of you. I mean, look what happened to Stefan. When the stones were about to hit his head. When the stones were about to hit his head. When he looked up. He saw God and Jesus. Jesus. But the stones are about to hit him. Listen to this. Sometimes you are looking at the stones. And they are blindfolding you. Not to see where you are going. Don't look at that stone. Allow them to throw it. That stone will take you to where you are going. If. You are not afraid of death. You won't be afraid of sickness. If you are not afraid of death, you will laugh at sickness. If you are not afraid of death, because death is the last enemy, you won't be afraid of poverty. Do you know that why you're no longer speaking faith? Because you are experiencing the younger brother of death. That younger brother of death is called stagnation. That younger brother of death is called poverty. You are facing what you are facing. You are facing hatred. You are facing rejection. It makes you not to speak faith. This is the time that you overcome on top. You hit the head. You hit the head. And the head is death. You say, I'm hitting this head. You know, Jesus was proud about it. He said, Me, I laid down my life. Revelation 9, verse 6. And in those days, people will seek death and will not find it. And they will long to die, to escape the pain, but will discover that death evades them. Revelation 20, verse 6. All of us, we are going to experience death. But there are people who are going to experience second death. The second death will be experienced by sinners. This is the time now that we must not take any decision that will make us to experience second death.